Uh, yeah, my name is Brian McCree. I'm playing for Team Rattle right now, and uh, we're out here at a unique place called The Grange, uh, playing match play team tournament. And uh, I guess it's a nice place to do it out here, being he's got two courses, and uh, you know we're able to fit everybody in out here in one nice, happy spot instead of having to travel across town. Uh, so far, uh, the results have been the same for the first two matches, even though I've played like really bad. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be a repeat. We're playing; our well, whole team's playing stronger. We're better than we were last year, so it's uh, looking real positive. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a great honor. This is such a really fun event, and uh, it's nice to have the bragging rights. What I like about this golf at the Grange, well, two courses is nice, but the variety is the best thing. There's lots of nice holes in the open and lots of also very challenging holes in the woods. Oh, I love the Grange. Uh, it's a great place to be. Uh, I love coming here to get away from everybody. Uh, to me, it's like the best course to go to ever. Uh, I'm going to be here definitely again in May. But I uh, normally just come here for all the fun and the people and the entertainment. Other than that, uh, it's just a great place to be.
after the first two matches of uh, what is effectively the regular season in this event uh, in a dairy division. Um, leading at 2-0 is Team Unity, primarily from North Carolina, and uh, in second place right now at one victory, no losses and one tie is Team Northern Virginia, a bunch of young up-and-comers there. Um, tied for third, we have home team and uh, the Calvert Flyers, and uh, currently in fifth, Team Pennsylvania Delaware, uh, and in bringing up the rear in the dairy division is uh, Team West Virginia. Uh, currently leading the beef division is uh, the Raleigh Area Disc League at 2-0, and, oh, and uh, Team Blue Ridge from the mountains of Virginia at 2-0 oh as well. Uh, in third place, we have uh, tied for third, we have the Bomb Squad from Seneca Creek and the Bayville Bay Villains. And then bringing up the rear in the beef division, the Mid-Atlantic Rebels, which is sort of a collection of players from the Mid-Atlantic area and um, in the local team Spotsylvania. We'll play one more match this afternoon and then uh, two more regular season matches tomorrow morning and uh, that'll be followed by the top two teams in each division meeting in the playoffs.